Attention! McCarthy Math Academy proudly presents the Math FSA Boot Camp Series. Hello everyone, I'm Miss McCarthy and I am so excited that you are here. are more than a test score. We don't want you stressing out about this test. We just want you to activate your greatness within. And you might be saying, But Miss McCarthy, listen, I know that math is your jam, but math and I, yeah, we're not really the best of friends. You may have struggled in the past, and you know what? Good. Struggle is necessary because struggle makes us stronger. If we go over something in these videos that you're like, hmm, that skill didn't quite click yet, I'm gonna send you to more videos to help you practice. Your teachers and I, we can expose you to all kinds of tools and strategies, but you have to choose to use them. You have to choose to own them. Imagine opening up that test and feeling so excited to throw down your best. This can be your reality. So now is the time that you need to activate the person you were born to be and let's do this. Are you ready to throw 100% focus, hustle, and heart into this right now? That's what I'm talking about, yes! Okay, let's go ahead and jump on into today's episode of the Math FSA Bootcamp Series. And <laughs> I almost forgot to say, uh, let me teach ya! is going on fourth grade. Welcome to the Math FSA Boot Camp Series. This is video number 26. So I'm hoping that you have the worksheet that you need for today. If you don't, go ahead and click the link below or somewhere around this video. It'll take you to my website where you can then download the worksheet that you need for this episode along with all the other episodes in the Math FSA Boot Camp Series in the FSA Boot Camp Series for fourth grade. So go ahead, pause the video, solve number one and number two on your own. You're going to throw down your best as if these two questions were on the test and then come on back to check your work with me. All right, fourth grade, welcome back. So the very first thing that we are going to do is identify the question type. Okay, so I am seeing A, B, C, and D. So what kind of question is this? Yeah, it's a multiple choice question, awesome. All right, now that we know that it is a multiple choice question, let's go ahead and read it, mark up our text and make sure that it makes sense. So this says a quadrilateral is shown, quadrilateral. What is a quadrilateral? A quadrilateral is a polygon with how many sides and angles? four, right? With four sides and angles. And I'm looking at this quadrilateral and I'm like, I know what kind of polygon this is, what kind of quadrilateral it is. What kind of quadrilateral do you think it is? It is a trapezoid. And there's a way that we can identify what a trapezoid is, and that is because it has one pair of parallel sides. These two sides could go on and on in the same direction and never ever touch. We call them parallel lines because they never ever cross, right? And it says, which list below correctly describes the kinds of angles that appear to be inside the shape above? Okay, so it doesn't even matter that we know that it's called a trapezoid. That was just extra information. What we need to focus on here are the types of angles that we see. Okay, so let's, I think I'm seeing a cute, obtuse and right. Let's go ahead and just identify what kind of angles are in here first. To do that, we're gonna use our super fancy, super expensive right angle meter, <laughs> right angle measurer. It, I mean, you can't get these anywhere. You basically have to, you have to know somebody to get your right angle meter. Just kidding. You, all you need is a right corner right there. A corner of a piece of paper is a right angle. And guess what? On the FSA, you will have scratch paper. You will have a booklet. You will have this tool that you need right here, this square corner to use. I'm not using anything here that you would not have on your test. I darkened it a little bit just so we could see. So what you do is you match up the corner with the other corner. So I'm taking my corner of my paper and putting it up against here. And you wanna match up one of the lines. 
see how I'm matching it up with this line. And then the other line, if it were a right angle, it would come right down here alongside my other side of my paper, the other corner of my paper. But it doesn't. It's opened up wider than my right corner, than my 90 degree angle, than my right angle. So what kind of, what kind of angle is this right here? It's obtuse, right? I'm gonna put an O there for obtuse. Let's try the other one. Okay, so I'm taking my corner, I'm putting it right there inside of the other corner. I'm matching up one side, and the other side again opens up wider than my right corner, which means that it is obtuse. Let's try the other ones. We've got an angle down here. So I gotta rotate my paper around just like this. Match up the corner. There we go. It's kind of hard to see, but the other line, you can actually maybe see it through here. Let me do it this way for this one. If I take my corner and match it up, look, we can see the side inside of that right angle. It is less than a right, which means it's what kind of angle? An acute angle, good. And this one over here is also acute if we were to do the same thing. Alrighty, we've got two obtuse angles and two acute angles. So zero acute, zero obtuse, four right, eliminate. One acute, one obtuse, two right, eliminate. We don't have any right angles. Two acute, two obtuse, zero right, that looks good. Three acute, no. One obtuse, no, zero right, no. So our correct answer is what? C. All right, let's go ahead and check out number two. Number two, the question type. Well, we've got rows, we've got columns. It's my favorite kind of question type. It is a matching item question. So we've got lines right here. Oh, let's go ahead and read it. I was gonna get, I was gonna jump right in, but we need to read the directions. Fill in the circles to select all the attributes, which are all of these. Attributes describe, or they are characteristics that apply to each set of lines. Okay, so we've got a set of lines here and a set of lines here. Contains acute angle, obtuse, right. Contains a parallel line and a perpendicular line. So let's see. I'm thinking that this one right here is a right angle, but let me check. I'm gonna put it right here. All right, so we've got a square corner right there, and you can see it matches perfectly. I keep going around, it matches perfectly, perfectly, and the other one also is perfectly. Okay, so does it contain an acute angle? No. Does it contain an obtuse angle? No. How about a right angle? Yeah. It has four of them, right? Do we see any parallel lines right here? No, they cross, they intersect. So it's not parallel, but it is perpendicular. Perpendicular means that the two lines cross so that it forms four right angles when you do that. All right, let's look at the next one. So I can tell right away just by putting my corner up there. Look, this one is obtuse. This one is also obtuse. And we can tell that we've got an acute and acute. So does it contain an acute angle? Yup. About an obtuse angle. Two of them, right? Did we have any right angles? No. How about parallel lines? No, because they cross, right? Parallel lines never ever cross. And a perpendicular line forms all right angles, just like here. These were all right angles. That's why they were perpendicular but this is just a set of intersecting lines. They're not special. They don't have a special name like perpendicular. They're just intersecting. So those would be your answers for number two. Go ahead and make any corrections that you need to make, and then I'd love to point you in the direction of some more helpful videos. All right, fourth graders, so if you know that you need some more help with geometry, with angles, with quadrilaterals, types of triangles, I want you to check out the very first link below or somewhere around this video. It's to McCarthy 
Dorothy Math 155. The 155 stands for 155 daily jam-packed high energy video lessons that walk you through the skills that you need to be successful in fourth grade. I also have videos available for third grade and fifth grade too. And what you wanna do is check out unit 13 if you know that you need some more practice with the geometry because that's the geometry unit, two-dimensional shapes. So many teachers and schools and even districts are using McCarthy Math 155 every day in the classroom or, or sending it as a virtual learning activity and they are seeing great success with their students. Their students, first of all, love the video lessons and they are definitely seeing that it's filling in the learning gap. So you should totally check it out. And you do have to become a member in order to access the videos, but guess what? I give everybody a free seven day trial to check it out. I want you to see it and explore it and get a good taste for what it is before becoming a member. That's that, what I would want. And teachers, if this is something that you're interested in sharing with your students, you can do that. If you go to the tutorials tab on my website, scroll down to video five, I walk you through how to do just that. The next link that I'd love to bring to your attention is to the How to Pass the Math FSA series for the same standard that we worked on in this video. Now, the How to Pass the Math FSA videos was the first series that I created on YouTube, back when the FSA was a computer-based test for fourth grade. It's not a computer-based test. Since it's now a paper-based test, I'm updating it with the Math FSA Bootcamp series that you're watching right now. But the How to Pass the Math FSA videos still have great practice problems, so please check that out too. I'd love for you to follow me on my social media platforms. I'm on Instagram and Facebook at McCarthy Math Academy. You can also follow me on YouTube by searching McCarthy Math Academy. If you're watching on YouTube, could you take a quick second to tap that like button? Not for me or to make me feel good, but to support the mission that I'm on. You see, there are so many students out there who need help with math. They're struggling, they need help, and I love making math fun, making it click, and making it stick for as many students as possible. So when you take a second just to like these videos, it lets students know, hey, let me check these out. And that is super helpful. In fact, you could be transforming somebody's life. That's pretty cool. In fact, really cool. <laughs> While you're at it, go ahead and subscribe. That way you're the first to know when I drop a new video. And finally, before we go, I just want you to know that you were created for a purpose. That's right. You are the generation that we have been waiting for. So find your light and shine it bright. Watch out world because we have a whole new generation of world changers, that's you all, getting ready to step it up and make this world a better place. When you have the choice, choose kindness. And you always have that choice. And I cannot wait to see you all on episode number 27. Bye guys.